I found this broken toy water gun. It had no water reservoir and I put this Sprite bottle in there. Yes, I do have too much free time on my hands, but I also wanted to open this up, see how it works and if I could fix it. Gave it a few pumps, pulled the trigger and nothing happens. To investigate the problem, first open the outer shell, bunch of screws, and whenever you're opening something, look at the screws and see if they are all the same or some of them are different. In this case, they were all the same, so it doesn't matter which one goes where and you don't have to keep track of them. Get a small container to put all these screws in them so you don't lose any, because you do need to put them back when you close this thing up again after you have possibly fixed it. And just like that, the shell comes off and you get to see the inner workings or the guts. So there's a spring on the trigger and up top there's a thing that uh, attached to the trigger that pinches the tube to stop the water coming out and the cylinder or the piston pressurizes the reservoir and I can see here the seal is, has been detached from the piston so that's why it's not compressing a lot of these components are attached to each other so it's a good idea to also take pictures whenever you're taking apart anything. I pulled the piston out of the cylinder and there's a rubber seal. Uh, it's similar to stuff that you see in household plumbing. It has stretched and uh, doesn't seal anymore. I don't have one of these around, but I think I'm gonna try some DIYs to get that uh, piston to seal in there and get it to compress. So I found this plumbing tape, not sure what it's called, but it's used to wrap around pipes and threads uh, of pipes to stop them leaking and create a seal. So I'm just gonna wrap it tightly and make it sit in the same groove that the original rubber seal was sitting in. And the advantage of this is as long as it doesn't come off, I wrap it correctly, I can continue to wrap it and add thickness and test fit and add more thickness until it uh, sits in there perfectly and seals perfectly. Because I'm not even sure what, what size uh, washer if I were to go to a store and buy it. Uh, this way I can just kind of custom make a seal. Made it to fit and I am gonna tuck the end of this here and pull it so that it doesn't come off and test fit it. Feels tight. And I also applied some grease on the end of it because when I originally pulled it out the uh, cylinder from the inside was coated with some kind of a grease and I think that also helps it uh, seal uh, not just the friction from the movement. To hook up the water hose to the nozzle I had to take the end of the nozzle out because there's no way I could put the hose into the tube and then attach to the nozzle like that. I had to take it out and uh, it's kind of cool the way this is set up. Uh, it has a thing with a thread that you turn and lock into it. Next, shove the hose with the attached nozzle into the tube. Like I mentioned before, some of these components are attached to each other before you put it back into the body of the gun. And I remember that the uh, piston and the tube with the uh, water hose, they both need to go into that gap inside of the trigger. The pink stuff that you see around the pipes, that's glue, so there's no way to take those pieces out uh, unless you break them. And uh, same thing here, uh, just gonna shove that hose that goes from the, uh, the reservoir to the uh, nozzle. lock everything in place with the same thread uh, lock. Opening this up and playing around with it, it's actually really simple and uh, you could also, I could also, you know, make some of these at home. I could make my own water guns. Nothing here is uh, special. I'm gonna attach the spring back into the trigger. Yeah, I mean, all these tubes, uh, the spring, the, I even used a Sprite bottle. It's all uh, common stuff. I'm just gonna put the shell back on and screw everything back. This is also a good practice to get, to get good at fixing things. You have something that's cheap that's worthless. If you break it, who cares? 
Um, but uh, you open it and you see how things work and uh, you get some practice at fixing random things. Now for the test run to see if all that work did anything and uh, yeah, it works. Cool.